Hey everyone, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more AFL 23. Here today on the channel, we're going to be kicking things off with a match in round 15 against the Brisbane Lions. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. We're top of the ladder and with math mathematically qualified for the top eight. Now, also, guys, I've been testing out this new update version of the game. And the hardest difficulty is significantly more challenging and, quite frankly, a lot better. So from here on out on AFL 23, I'm probably going to struggle in matches here and there. I'm not going to be dominating as much as I was before. Uh, Brisbane. Okay, looks like there was a bug there. Broad has to come out. And they have a opportunity here and they're going to get it a little bit tight in this first quarter I will be also as we come to the final stages of the season here now that we've qualified for the top eight we're going to be switching things up and making it a highlight series and a miss second quarter now Brisbane only lead by a point very limited opportunities they get it in Grimes can't get to it tackled dispossessed and it's going to be a goal between the big sticks as the Lions Start off the scoring with Cam Rayner there. Disappointing for the Tigers against my former side. Good ball. Trying to bring it out from the back. Want some clean footy. Broad handballs to Rioli. I didn't mean to centralise it there. And we've given away a goal scoring opportunity here. And the Lions capitalise it. That's something special by Chris Fagan's boys. McCarthy puts his name on the score sheet. Got to do a lot better than that. A Lions wanting to secure one of those top four spots as Richmond trail. Even in the midfield, I'm getting handballed. A lot more tackled. Barry, I'm losing the intercept mark. Bolter gives it away. The Lions set up for their third with Jack Gonston. And they're about to go three goals up before halftime. Gunston slots the goal. Brisbane kick three in a row. They're roaring away with this one a little bit. Mm, tackle there by Bolton. Dropped in the third. It's going to be another ball up. Now Curvis wins it. Pickett comes up. Gets rid of the footy just. Oh, trying to bang it there. Rich uh, dropped a lion. <laughs> Hopper, not 15 play on. Get it out. Hot footy at the moment. Somehow revolt has got it. Can he get it out? He's trying to handball. It's a ball up <laughs> at the top of the goal square. Toby's going to have to rocket it towards goal. He finds Jack in the goal square. <laughs> you beauty. The Tigers bring one back. And it's a two-goal game here at the Gabba. The Tigers don't have the best record up in Brisbane or Queensland, a matter of fact. Nankervis, Prestia dropped. Can he get it out? I also find myself holding the ball a lot more. Jeez. Berry over the top. Good ball. Brisbane looking like why oh, they're one of the best teams in the comp and won the flag. And the Premiership last season. Barry finds... I don't know who this is, but he's turned and slotted back. Ugh. It's a three-goal game. It's going to be hard to come back from this one. And Richmond simply aren't going to have enough time as we lose another match in this career series. We lost against the Bombers big... Now we lose by three goals against the Brisbane Lions. Disappointing, ultimately. But my former club, my former Brisbane boys, I guess I'm somewhat happy with them. But ultimately, I am disappointed in the loss. Pretty tight in the first and second. Now we face the Swans. All right, moving on to the next round. We face the Sydney Swans, who are currently in second, tying with us. Port Adelaide third, Melbourne in fourth. So there is a little bit of jeopardy now that we can lose matches. 
yeah, we want to try and claim and hold on to those second spots. Sorry, the top four spots because we obviously want that second chance. But here is the team. As we host the Sydney Swans at the MCG. They are currently in second. They want to try and claim the minor premiership from us. Let's go. Proudly Sydney. Here come the Bloods. And we're going to have a ball up here to get this match underway. Prestia. Dropped in the end. Holding the ball. Oh, I don't know about that. There wasn't much prior opportunity. Maybe they've upped the rate of... Um, holding the ball slightly. Broad couldn't get the interception. A little bit of a play on there. Sydney playing there in their heritage kit. And they're going to get the ball here. And have a shot at goal. I believe that's Isaac Heaney. Can he start things off for the Swans and he does and he celebrates ecstatically as well the Swans go a goal up coming off from a loss against the Lions Richmond shell shocked in this first quarter now in the second need to prove a point Nankervis wins it <sighs> Sydney just playing better footy short, trying to get it out. Prestia tries to find a man in the 50. Can't find Morris Rioli Jr. And now the Swans want a counter-attack. Big lofting ball in. Ralph Smith. This guy is an absolute young superstar. He is so, so good. Oh. He just feels so good on this game. I don't know why. Rioli. Uh, can't get to it. Swans go again. That's not 15. Doesn't matter. They're going to turn and pivot. And the Swans go two goals up. Man. My, my <laughs> win Ross loss record has gone down crazy since this new update. It's not just been one. There's been, like, I swear there's been, like, a small update every single day for the past four or five. But... That's great that there's jeopardy back in this career mode and you guys aren't going to see guaranteed results. We are going to make the top eight because we played well earlier in the season, but now there's jeopardy in this finals calendar. Bolton, good handball out. Oh, terrible pressure, but Martin scores against his potential former side. <laughs> Bringing it back within a one-goal game. Martin, yeah, I would have liked to see that alternative timeline if... Dusty Martin did end up leaving to join the Swans. I believe he was going to go to the Kangas, or was it the Saints at one point? Draft-wise, I can't remember. Oh, Sydney get one back here, though. Second quarter, still a two-goal game. Dropped it. So now, realistically, this season, top eight, top four finish would be exceptional. I, the way we've been playing this season, I think a prelim is not unacceptable. Making a final is all that you can sort of wish for. And then on the end, the thing is anyone can win on a final game of the season. But now with this difficulty, I've got to sort of change my perspective. Because this Richmond team is good, but is it good enough to go far in finals? I don't know. Particularly with the amount of injuries we've got as well. Our back line is pretty weak without Vloston. And a couple others as well. But we need to switch on here. Still a two-goal game against the Swans. They look good. And uh, super up for finals. That's why they are second in this career series. Obviously, in my Bridge Brisbane series, they made the grand final against Brizzy. And ultimately were runners-up. Pickett looking to play on. Hopper gets it out. Hopper shoots for goal. Goes bang. And the Tigers are back within a goal. Two kicks because they have a point though. But it's a hot game of footy here at the MCG. Hopper 
with a brilliant goal. Definitely the best pickup in the off season. Also, depending on how this season goes, we might need to look for players next year. We'll need to probably eventually replace the likes of Revolt and Cochin. Who should those players be? Let me know in the comments. All right, fourth quarter now. Pickett, Hopper, gets it in. Cochin runs out playing in the forward line this season to bring it back in the fourth. Cochin slots the goal. <laughs> That's why we got him in the forward line. He's such a utility player for us. And can the Tigers come back against the Swans? Let's hope. Two points. That's all what's in it. I think we're going to run out of time. And Sydney get one back ultimately anyway. <sighs> Disappointing. Going to run out of time. In the dying embers of this match. Sydney snatch a late goal. Just to help their percentage. And they could go top of the league after this. Tigers just need to quickly bomb it, get it back. Couldn't get it cleanly. Bolton bangs it onto boot. Who revolt? Gets it. And it doesn't matter anyway. Sirens gonna go. Jack can go with the top. He's not gonna make the distance, I don't reckon. It's pretty far out. But to reduce it, yeah, he kicked it full and out on the full. Unfortunately, Sydney win another. And we've lost two games back to back to back. Disappointing. Sydney are going to sing the song and ultimately claim victory in this one. Hey, you win some, you lose some. That's what AFL 23 has now become. Pretty tight though. Papley, Haywood, Heaney, McLean, Hopper, Martin, Cochin. And now we go to a match against West Coast. West Coast have lost their five. They're at the bottom of the ladder. I believe we already faced them this season. So let's sim this one and see the result. After that loss, oh, we get a win, which is pretty good. Yeah. We potentially might not be able to claim that minor premiership, which would be a shame, but so be it. Uh, Baker, Ralph Smith getting the goals. As we move on to a match against the Hawks, now in second. A team sitting in 13th that's not going to make the eight. We'll sim against them. Hey, at home, we managed to beat them by two goals. That's pretty good, but these are against teams not in the top eight. We're getting to the point in the season where some of these dead rubber fixtures don't ultimately matter. Earlier in the season, I would have played this against the Hawks because they're a Vic team. All right, moving on now against Melbourne. We're back at the top of the ladder, drawing with Sydney, Port Adelaide, Melbourne in fifth, Brisbane in fourth. Um, we'll play this one as the Saints, North Melbourne and Geelong make finals. Unfortunately, Bolter's now out with an injury, which is a shame. But no matter, rotating the side. Uh, Melbourne, a team we beat earlier in the season. But let's get stuck into them. You never know. This could potentially be the grand final this year, depending on how their run goes. But let's get stuck into the Ds, a team that's dropped off a fair bit in real life and in the game overall. But here we go. Very limited opportunities in this first quarter. Prestia goes to ground. Nankervis in the ruck. Wins it against Gorn. Melbourne get it, but give it back. Taranto dropped. Out on the wing. A lot of bodies. A lot of pressure. Nankervis wins it. Only as far as a Melbourne player. It gets blocked. Spoiled. Prestia tries to get it out. Decent handball. Gorn tries to find a target. Finds probably Spargo, is that? I don't, I don't know. Ralph Smith on the mark. Brings it in. And Broad loses the intercept to Bailey Fritch, maybe? I don't know. 
Regardless, Melbourne, to start off the scoring in this match, go back. And they kick a clean goal. No, it's not Fridge. Uh, unfortunately, we go a goal down. Second quarter now. The D's lead by a goal. We haven't won a game. <laughs> oh, in recent memory, manually playing. We lost against the D's. Sorry, we lost against the Lions. We lost against Sydney. And now we could lose against the D's. Oh, good mark. Grimes. To Lynch. Gets it. The Tigers looking for their first. Oh, my God. Ooh. Out on the full. As Melbourne look to recycle the footy. Gorn with the grab. Looks to give it and go. Goes to the pack. Gets spoiled. Cozzy Pickett drops it. Fumbles. Finds. Revolt. And Jack. Just going to try and find an ally. He finds Nankervis. And the Tigers take the lead in the second. What a finish from Big Toby. The Ruckman charging, surging forward. It's a one-point game at the G. Nah, couldn't find a target there, unfortunately. Routes. I don't know what. That was a bug there. Should have been... Holding the ball. Half time though. We go into the rooms. Need to win this one here today. If we aren't to keep alive our minor premiership ambitions. Gorn back in the ruck. We go again. Nankervis wins it. Prestia dropped. Trying to get it out. Can't. Ball up again. Nankervis goes up, dominating Gorn, finds Prestia, this time releases the footy, footy barely, Pickett releases the footy barely, Martin taps it forward, Martin keeps going, Revolt, boys, get to someone, not 15, goal, <laughs> that was frantic as, back in the centre square in the third, Prestia holding the ball again man, the amount of times that we've had that called. Still a one goal game. Really tight in this match. Pickett. Martin. Cochin. To Revolt. What a grab. Get a play it a bit short, ironically. I just feared Revolt hitting that. It is so close now. Like, you can't afford to miss goals in this game even if you're a little bit far out you're actually now due to this added difficulty playing a little bit more slower a little bit more methodical and trying to make a mark there and try and switch it to a player like short on a better angle but it's a great goal from short playing on the wing a lot this season good for him grundy wait no that was gone actually with a massive tap backwards it was so athletic. <laughs> I thought it was Grundy. <laughs> it was so good. All right, still a two-goal game. Oh, they get pinged for holding the ball for the first time. Lynch. Oh, come on. Put some pressure. Martin. Martin. Revolt. Someone, please. Ugh. Just getting chopped down now. We go again. Ball up. Cotchin. Lynch. Oh, come on. Look at all the bodies here. Can we just find someone, please? Look at this. It's super hot footy. And we somehow sneak it out there by Morris Rioli Jr. And the Tigers look so much better in this match. Getting belted by Brisbane. Getting smashed by Sydney. We're putting the pressure on the Ds. Who could drop out of that top four? There's a lot of teams wanting to claim those second chance spots. 
And Richmond go again. Finding Lynch. Gonna play it short to find someone. Wait. Get get it, get it. Oh, I was wait, we did. <laughs> Bolton picked up the crumbs. I was gonna say we should he, he put his arms out wanting Lynch to claim it. But Bolton with a goal. Oh, it's so satisfying now as well. Actually playing on the harder difficulties. <laughs> My god, such a challenge. That's what it should be. You should at least lose your every third game. Come on. Because that just makes it more realistic. Because I would say that the AFL, currently in real life, maybe over the past like two, three years, it's probably the best, like, fairness wise. Like, it's probably the most even it's been in the comp. Like, I feel like as a kid, there'll be so many just dead fixtures. Like, it's like you've got no interest in, but. There's so many storylines. There's so many... Like... I don't know. I just think it's just a good brand of footy. It's just like super exciting. It, I do quite like what they did with the rule changes and made uh, the footy a lot more open. I like it. I like it a lot. Spargo furious though. Fourth quarter now. We lead by two... Goals. Cochin going forward. Oh, somehow got it out, but it's holding the ball. I feel like holding the ball. It's like we're not even getting getting like like any opportunity to get it out. The D's looking to get one late back here. We're still two goals and a kick in front. Oh, nice. Bad handballing in the end. We're going to turn on this. Rioli. Ah, couldn't get to it. Just need to hold out that little bit longer. McDonald goes form forward. Oscar McDonald, the former Melbourne player. A player we picked up in the mid-season draft. Prestier on the mark. Tiger's got to be careful here. Should have enough time. Oh, Nankervis. It gets spilt. Oh, Gorn gets the goal. And it's a goal. And a point with... Uh, wait, I keep on calling him Gorn. It's Ben Brown. Come on. Oh, we somehow hold on. And the Tigers win a narrow, glorious victory against the Melbourne Football Club. It looked really good in this match. Cozzy disappointed there. But we've won this one, the Tigers. And are keeping up with that minor premiership challenge. That was actually way too close of a match. 31 to 24. 5-1 to 4-0. Rioli with two. Nankervis was just the one. Bolton, Pickett with two. Neil Bullen got the other one for them as we go and face the Western Bulldogs next week. So, unfortunately on that note, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. If you want to see more from me, check out the videos on screen. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ben Simpsey, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.